country to eat eggs boiled in the hot springs. Hi my peoples, welcome back to another vlog. We are still in Fort Porto and today we are going to be checking out Semiliki National Park. We are going to be seeing the hot springs. I wish we could do more but not today. If you're new here, please, you're most welcome. Napsara is the name. Please subscribe down below, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time we upload a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so, so much. Please like, comment, share and watch this video till the end. Broken dreams in my pocket Couldn't think round my neck like a locket Carve your name in my mind Cause you caught it You caught it You golden, golden Honestly you know it Me under the street like right there I'm so I could show you You golden, golden just reached at the entry point of the hot springs i want to show you the view that i'm seeing right now so beautiful a forest on like a hill like a forest on the rocks it's so beautiful i'm with Eunice of course <laughs> the Apache didn't tell you we slept i didn't well, no, well, I, I look no i truly didn't you you were sleeping there's no way you would see me and I, I, woke I, up. I chose to take in the views guys everyone slept but i, would, I kept dozing but i chose to take in the views i mean it's not gonna happen every day so let me show you this view The place is crowded, bam. It's like everyone came here for Easter. Hey, 
you are most welcome to Semlik National Park and my name is Richard. This place is quite hot because we are in the Rift Valley. <coughs> Semlik National Park lies within the western arm of the East African Rift Valley. And I'm sure you have asked that the higher you go the cool it becomes, then the lower you go the hotter it becomes. So that's why it is very hot. The park covers an area of 220 square kilometers and our neighboring future in the west, which is that side, we are having River Semulik, which forms an international boundary between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. And we are just 11 kilometers away from Congo through the forest. <laughs> Guys, we are in. We've started the trek. Hopefully, it's not so long because the only thing we've been doing is trekking for all these days. And uh, we get two sites of hot springs. We conserve the park together with local communities. And uh, this side we have the Bamba community who have a cultural attachment over these hot springs. They believe on one site they are female ancestors and one of the sites was called the female hot springs. Then the reverse is true on the second site. As we move to the hot springs, let us pay maximum attention. We have some walkways and we need to walk in the middle of the platforms that are available. You make any mistake of moving on the side, then it will be yourself. There are some areas that have got soft rocks just, that are just floating on hot water. Hmm? By any mistake, you move in an area where the guide has told, where uh, the guide has not told to you to go, mm -hmm. then high chances of some of you getting incinerated or burned. Let me hope you have got something to boil. Water boils at different temperatures and that is geologically known as a geothermal gradient. The water has healing properties and it will smell like eggs. It's not that most people boil eggs from there that is smelling, but it's from one of the minerals known as sulfur and hydrogen sulfide gas that are formed during the precipitation of the minerals as water is coming from underground. Huh. Oh, this place is hot. Oh. Are eggs done? Mine are here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there goes my eggs. Are eggs done? Yeah. Hmm. Now this is amazing. Okay, 
guys, we are currently in inside the female hot springs. It is so hot in here. It's like sauna. It's like the air in here is hot. Everything is hot. And we've been told to take precaution to only step on the wooden things and in the middle so that you don't fall. Otherwise, the ground the whole surrounding area is just hot we are boiling some eggs i really don't know if people might take my eggs let me go and check and see if they are ready but yeah this is just amazing like it's um it's a wonder to know that there is this much heat coming from here the spot where we're boiling our eggs from is currently at 94 degrees celsius i was like okay you can't see my eyes i was like <laughs> okay guys from this we are going to go and check out the male hot spring guys my eggs are here <laughs> they are ready apparently when they are ready they are salted as well because the water has salt in them has salt in it <laughs> i can't wait to eat them i'm putting them on this scarf because they are too hot for me to hold <laughs> can't wait to eat eggs boiled in the hot springs in the female hot spring <sighs> Guys, we are currently heading to see the male hot spring. The first one we saw was the female hot spring. Sweet and spice, throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. Guys, we're just done with the male hot springs. According to the guide, it's called the male hot spring because a male hunter died from here. And then the other one is called the female hot spring because the wife to that male hunter disappeared from that. Okay, it's not even funny. Disappeared from that hot spring. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This is definitely a place you should check out when you're in Fort Porter. It's in Bundibujo district. So if you're anywhere around there, make sure to check it out. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.